Hi, this is Matt from tracingmat.co.uk and this is the Toshiba Portage G900. Um, let's just uh, start off by taking a look at what we get in the box with the device. See the device itself on top there, just put that to one side. While we take a look at what else is in the box and then we'll come back to the device itself. Um, in the bottom of the box there we have uh, the manual and uh, CD-ROM. And uh, in the box here. We have the charger, which is a uh, mini USB type charger. Battery, which we're obviously going to need in a moment. The battery capacity is uh, 1320 milliamp hours, so fairly large. There's the USB to mini USB adapter cable or sync charge cable. There's a headphone adapter with an inline microphone and uh, button. Out of the packet, then I'll show you. Headset adapter so you plug in standard uh, three and a half mil stereo headphones. Um, we also get mains cable and uh, a set of headphones which I've got a three and a half mil jack on one end. Uh, headphones look okay, but you probably want to use your own um, sort of better quality headphones with the device than the ones that come with. And finally, a really kind of interesting cable here which is uh, actually a mini USB to standard USB cable with the G900 you can actually plug in um, external USB devices such as USB memory keys and uh, well hard drives uh, if they're they're powered variety um, so if we take a look at the G900 um, there we go it's actually uh, it's actually fairly fairly large initial impression there is larger than I anticipated it being uh, and even without the battery it's quite heavy it feels substantial in your hand um, so let's take a look at the front here you've got a front facing uh, VGA camera for video conferencing your customary windows ok uh, contacts email keys red and, uh, green and red um, phone buttons soft keys and uh, navigation d-pad type uh, button there Side we've got a camera button and uh, volume control button up and down. Stylus slides in the bottom there, and that is a telescopic stylus. Um, worth mentioning that there isn't a spare stylus in the box at that point. At this point, on the bottom there's a cover just over the USB sync charge socket, and on this side is. A slot for the mini SD. Um, I know some websites and other sources are quoting micro SD. It is definitely mini SD there, as you can see. There's a cover over the so slot there for that. And finally, there's a cover over the headphone socket there at the top. Um, flipping over, got a 2 megapixel uh, camera. From the front there, it looks deceptively like a standard camera. Uh, however, the actual camera aperture at the front is rather small, uh, so uh, we'll, we'll take a look um, at the picture quality on that. And then obviously the keyboard is on a spring-loaded slide mechanism there, with a full, I think it's 45 keys for, on the QWERTY keyboard. And uh, on the back is the biometric fingerprint reader. Um, the screen on this device which I'll show you sh shortly once we have a chance to power the device up is um, actually 800 by 480 which is very high res uh, considering the size it's 3 inch um, so it looks a fairly impressive device so I'll just show you that next to something else there we go next to a uh, M700 there as you can see substantially thicker not uh, much difference in width there, but see longer. And against my Samsung i600, again longer, substantially thicker, and uh, probably about as wide. So fairly heavy, nearly 200 grams. Um, although the benefit of the uh, inter integrated keyboard, the size of the screen and the resolution of the screen uh, and the fact that it's got a 520 megahertz processor makes this a really interesting device so um, that's kind of our preview of the device 
uh, Toshiba G900. Uh, thanks to Clove Technology, www.clove.co.uk for loaded device. And uh, be sure to come back soon and take a look at our uh, review which will be online within the next few weeks.